Hi, it's Barry Ranch of Laporta, and today I am with one of our guests, Ricky Lake. Hi, Hi Ricky. <laughs> How so, are you? Um, tell us some of the things you've been an actress, writer. I've had nine lives nine in lives. show business. Yeah, I've been a John Waters actor. I did five of his films. I had a TV career. I did a talk show for 11 years. I right. made a documentary that really pissed off the AMA and mm -hmm. happily. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what I call myself. I have right. a book coming out, I've written two. Um, you know, I, I, I'm sort of a jack of all trades. Right. No, and, I'm, and a mom. First and foremost, I'm mom. a mom. How many children do you have? Two sons. And how old are they? Milo is 14 and Owen is 10. Wow, that's awesome. So what is your latest passion? The thing you're really on fire my about? Latest, my latest passion is um, sort of exposing the, the system that we call birth in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I really had two very different but life-changing birth experiences with my children, mm -hmm. one at home and one at, in a hospital setting. And what I learned between those two births, um, I really wanted to sort of inform the public mm -hmm. of what I was learning about C-section rates, the rise of uh, maternal right. death in this country, and infant mortality, and, and a lot of what is in place, the protocols that mm -hmm. are in place in hospitals are not always in the best interest of mothers and babies. So. It's you know just sort of exposing that and raising questions. So, and so I made a film. I made a documentary right. called "The Business of Being Born," which came out in 2008, and we've been working on a follow-up, which is coming out now, called "More Business of Being right. Born." Is now is that what your book is about as well? Um, no, my book is a memoir. The book that's oh. coming out. I did write a book, a pregnancy guide okay. called "Your Best Birth," mm -hmm. and um, and I also wrote a book about childhood obesity. That's another one of my passions called wow. "All Stride." So I, I have a lot going on. Yes, you um, do. Lots but happily, I mean, I'm, I'm much more interested in the pro-social causes and raising awareness as opposed to talking about hoochie mamas and their DNA tests, you know. Yeah. And that's sort of kind of the Ricky that was in the, you know, my 20s and, and right. mid-30s. And now that I'm 42 years old, I'm going back and doing another talk show next year. Oh, you are? And I am. What would your talk show be called? The Ricky Lake um, Show? Well, yeah. It's a good thing they hired me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it will be called The Ricky yeah. Lake Show, but that's where, that's, that, those are the only similarities between my old show. So I mean, you'll be like, very theme-oriented, it's more um, it's, socially conscientious guests, no, things I mean, like I that? No, I mean, I think it's going to be, it's, it'll be fun, and it'll be surprising, and there'll be crazy stuff happening, like mm -hmm. my old show, but I've sort of grown up mm -hmm. since I've been on the air doing mm -hmm. that, and I feel like the show will evolve in the mm -hmm. way that I have. I mean, my interests have changed. You know, my children have grown. I mean, I think a lot of the issues that I still deal mm -hmm. with, getting over divorce, finding love again, dealing with body image, dealing with aging, dealing with, you know, raising teenagers. I mean, all of these issues that I deal with on a regular basis, I think everyone can relate to. I so have it's... every one of those issues yeah. personally, <laughs> you honestly. You do, right? Yeah, I do. Everyone. I mean, yeah, we're all trying to, to right. you know, right. have a great life and be happy and be healthy. And so, you know, hence, I'm, I'm so happy to be yeah. here. And where will your show be? Your, in Los your, Angeles. My old show is in New York. In and what, what channel? What are we oh, it it's on? syndicated. So we're selling it now. So oh. it's, it, when it's syndicated, it's different in every market. So I like see. my old show, it's in. It'll be. It'll be probably within a three to five time clock, like like oh, right. like Oprah time period. Right. Um, and we don't know what channel yet, but it'll be it'll be everywhere. That's great. So you're at the ranch for the first time. I am. Yes. I am. What, I, what, what'd you come to the ranch for? Well, I mean, I really came, I mean, I, I had an opportunity to, to come and check it out. I was so grateful that they asked me to be here and for my best friend and I to spend this time together. I mean, I don't have, as you can tell, I haven't done a lot of free time, but mm -hmm. I love this kind of vacation mm -hmm. and I needed this more than anything. And um, it's certainly lived up to my expectations. I've always wanted to come mm -hmm. and the reason I wasn't able to is because you needed a full week mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. and I never had a week to get right, away with my, yeah. from my kids and stuff. But um, but I was able to get this week and just to have this experience, and I'm I'm blown away. I will absolutely be back. I can't tell, wait. Tell me some of the things that you take well, and that you've enjoyed. My favorite thing is hiking. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, hiking and bar method. Mm -hmm. So the two are mm -hmm. such a they complement each other. I think you know mm -hmm. you do this full body workout, this cardiovascular, and then you like do these isolated mm -hmm. exercises. Um, they're just it just works and it makes me feel good. I feel alive and. It's just, it's awesome. Have you liked the food? The food is amazing. Yeah. Yes. The food is, I mean, surprisingly, because I'm kind of a picky eater. Yeah. And, but I am a healthy eater for the right. most part, but I'm not a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And we are, both of us are like, oh my God, this is incredible. Right. Yeah. Last night's dinner, that chili ranliejo was insane. <laughs> I insane. love your Spanish like mine. I know, my Spanish. <laughs> a little Spanglish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. No, I have no, I have no complaints. I'm sleeping well here. She hasn't been to my class. 
but yeah. I have been in your class. I mean, <laughs> you might have some complaints. Under my normal, I'm a Virgo and I'm like a like uh -huh. a workhorse, so I normally will pack in classes, classes. And I'm really trying to have a balance That's of, great. of taking time to relax, meditating a little bit, and you know. Right. And but I'm hiking every morning. I love it. Well, thanks for talking to us. I'm really excited that you'll come back. Thank you. You will definitely see me again.